Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we are here still at Ghent Ternusen Canal in the Netherlands. Thought I would check out this other peg here, the Charmer of the Industrial. Kind of throw out my lines and see what we can get here, guys. And we're just about ready to go into the peak of a partly cloudy day, which is probably the best day of uh, weather because you get two very large peaks and then in the nighttime you get one very big one in the middle so we might be able to catch something kind of interesting that's what I'm kind of kind of hoping it's also a lot sunnier so visibility will be good so let's go ahead and check and see what we've got here we've got real good visibility actually you can see the windmills over there now this, I don't think I've ever noticed this structure before. That's kind of cool. <laughs> the attention to detail. Look at that. That's attention to detail. I like that. Alright, let me see. I am going to try casting towards those windmills. Alright, I am going to go ahead and forward time here though. Because we are nowhere close to the peak time here. Well... Let's see, let's take it to about, let's take it to six. I think that's going to be enough within the peak to at least get this show on the road here. Kind of interested to see what we can catch. Let's see uh, what I have on here for bait. I've got the shrimp still. Let's try right out there. towards those wind turbines. Yeah, they got the old-fashioned windmills. I think it's down that way. Yeah, it's down that way. And then they've got the wind turbines over there. Now this should pick up eel, if, hopefully. Now let me see, what lure do I have on here? Oh, I got, that's my float rod. Well, we got a spinner. Let's see what that does. Not getting much of a cast, though. Might be too light. Let me see here. Bet you that's the problem. No, it's just right on the edge. Let's try this one. Try the narrow spoon. There's something fiddling around with that. Hmm. Let's see here, guys. I am going to take a look. See what... Yeah, I think most of these guys go for... Yeah, most of these guys are going for... Non-lures, except things like the Eid. They do go for crankbaits and poppers. I was trying to find out if they had aspirin here. No, no asp. So it might not be a bad idea. Let's see, let's see. They like the small minnows, grasshoppers. Do I have that? I don't think I have that. But do I have dragonflies? No, not with me. I do have them. Now we might try something a little smaller this time. I got a two size two hook here. Let's see if we can get some of the roach here. Or the bream. That's not a bad idea. Let's see if we can't 
do something with Bream right now because it seems like these guys are just not biting that much. See if we can't get some decent sized Bream. Been kind of focusing on the bigger species. Get some caster maggots on there. Now these guys are actually out deep, which always surprised me. I would have thought, since they're more like a panfish, they're they actually be closer to shore, but they're not. Now we might do better with these as the peak goes on. Let's see, let's try... Let's just try the regular maggots. Well, no, let's try these pinkies. Get off with a smaller hook too. Let's try number, number four. Let's see what we can get with these. Now this will just try right off the shore. Yeah, I think the eels are more downstream. <laughs> we are getting bites. Let's try the red... Oh, we could try the red maggots, maybe. Yeah, let's try those. We got bream for that, too. But I think the roach also go for them. I think I'm going to try these, this pearl barley with this. Sounds like we got a boat coming by. There we go. Okay, this is off the pinkies. Let's see what that brought us in. Well, there you go. <laughs> Actually, we really wanted to catch one of these guys. It's a trophy round goby. It's as big as they get here. See how big his little head is? That's a tiny fish, I know, but he's an interesting looking one. Now we're starting to go into the peak here. It's already 637 in the game. Oop. And we got a fish. As soon as I leave. Ooh. Okay, this is decent sized fish here, guys. Let's see what we got here. Now yeah, we're talking. That's a common bream. Nice fat fella. Bream Master 1. <laughs> and we got one on this one. This is 
the casters. This is probably a bream. Just see how big the bream is. I think this is a silver bream, though. Nope, it's a young common. The young commons are more silvery. The adults seem to be more of a yellowish hue. Yeah, got another one. Man, those pinkies are popular. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that one. Okay, I, I was a little scared there for a minute. I thought it was a little bit too much tension there. This is a decent sized bream here. Trophy. Yeah, he's almost a golden color. Let me get a good picture of him. There we go. Nice fat bream. There we go. Yeah, these pinkies are great. Another young common. I think I might upscale the hook here. See if we can't get something a little bit bigger than that. Let's put a three odd on it. See if we can't get a real big bream. Might throw some pinkies on this too. They are definitely a popular bait. Let's see what we got here. Yep, a bream love them. I think we're going to go ahead since it's quarter after seven in the end game. Looks like we're getting a bite on this one. Sometimes you can do this and get and track them too. You can watch the blue if something's going for it it's going to get more blue yeah. maybe not I think though, however, it's time to start fishing for the bigger guys. Let's see here. I am going to go ahead and put shrimp on this one. I think I'm going to throw it up that way, way out there. I 
haven't really getting, been getting too many bites off those. Which I don't think I got any bites off those. Let's see, what else could we go for that's out there? Let me see here. I'm trying to remember what the eye go for. It's kind of what I wanted to try to get. Oh, they get semolina balls, maggots, peas, and night crawlers. That's interesting. Oh no, that's <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. Small minnows, grasshoppers, crickets, dragonflies, mayflies. Huh. Now we got small minnows and grasshoppers. Well, let's try the. Did it say night crawlers? No, that's common brain. No, it did not. It did say they go for crankbaits, which I'm going to try here in a minute. Let's go ahead and put some gra uh Yeah, let's put grasshoppers on there. That didn't take long. Grasshopper. Huh. Better make sure that's... What the heck have I got here? Yeah, this is fighting a little differently. Well, there you go. There's an eyed. Right off the bat, not bad. Well, they definitely like the grasshoppers. Actually, let me mark that because I want to be sure I keep casting in the right direction. Well, you can barely see it. Right out there. There we go, finally. He's got it now. Ah, yeah. I think this is another eye, just by the way it's fighting. They fight a lot like a trout. Nice one. They do like the grasshoppers. This time on this one, I'm gonna try. The, I'm gonna try the small minnows because I can get quite a few different things. We're gonna throw that way out there, and not where the eyes were found. I think I want to try this if I don't get something here in a second. Oh wow. Did I have it or did it quit? It quit. <laughs> Damn fish. There we go, finally. Well he quit too. Be 
Okay, finally they got something on here. Ooh. Okay, this is substantial. And it is probably an eyed. Yep, there you go. Oh, you got some. Three grasshopper again. I think we got us another eyed. Damn. Okay, that is a substantial fish too. Let's see here. Yep, another eyed. All at once. <laughs> this could be a Xander. Yeah. It's probably a Xander. Man, he's giving a little bit of fight, though. Damn. I don't know. Xanders usually don't fight quite like that, but we'll see. No, that's not a Xander. That's a trophy eye. There you go. There you go. Trophy eyed. We're definitely marking this place. Let's see. Where did I get that guy? Right out there. Bet you can bet that's where I'm casting again. Let's see here. No, they just knocked and biting off the shrimp here. Now on the other side the shrimp does really well, but and I have been getting nibbles. Let's put a grasshopper on there and just see what happens. Yeah, it just does not get as much with the lures here. I think we might go... Well... We got something. Let's see. Minnows again. Well, this guy's fighting pretty hard. Well, there we go. Young Northern Pike.
There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's definitely an eye or something like it. See what we got here. Yep, there's another eyed. I think trophy is as big as they come here, but I'm gonna have to take a look here. Let's check the map here. Or the Let's see. Yeah, we're about at the end of the night. Now the common roach go up to unique. Nope, I does I do come in unique, so I am kind of curious as to where you can find the unique. I don't know if they'll be here or if you have to get them on a specific time of day. But we do have a good spot. A couple of good spots, actually. Alright, looks like it's going into night, but you can't see as soon as it hit. You could see a lot more clearly. Now, I think it's a clear night, so I think things have changed as far as the bite rates. Let me see here. Nope, it's still peaked in the middle. But I think what we'll do is we'll call this an episode, guys. Well, anyway, I think that was a pretty good episode. We really got to see the Bream and the Eye this time, which really didn't focus on in any of the previous episodes. So, they do come in unique sizes. I am going to be determined to figure out where the uniques are found. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.